I'm Keely Orr here with head coach Lincoln Riley. Coach, we're at the halfway point of the regular season. When you're prepping uh, in the off season, do you set expectations for yourself or this team besides maybe six and zero? Yes, yeah, that's a good start. Um, yeah, you obviously, you know, from a from a record standpoint, you're right where you want to be. It's in some ways kind of hard to believe we're already at the the halfway point with this group. It's uh, once it goes, it goes so fast, and now being in the kind of right in the middle of this nine game stretch, I mean, it's just these weeks are just flying by and. Yeah, it's just important for us, I think, to continue to stay in the moment. You know, we've worked hard to put ourselves in a tremendous position. We are there. Like, this is everything we could have wanted, everything that we've worked for, and now it's time to go get it. This is the first time since 2005 that a USC team is heading to South Bend undefeated. Uh, the Trojans haven't won at South Bend since 2011. As a competitor, what does that do for you and your team? I didn't know the 2005 stat. I'd heard the 2011. That's, uh, that's, uh, it, it's a great opportunity. Right. I mean, that's uh, that's what we came here to do. And uh, we were able to, you know, get off to start last year in, in a few specific areas and do some things that, that hadn't been done here in, in a few years. And, and now we got another opportunity to go do it. And we know it's going to be a great challenge. I mean, road games, good football team, rivalry road games. There, there's there's a, there's going to be a lot of challenges there. And uh, but this is. This is what we signed up for. Our, our, our staff, our players are extremely motivated to, to go play very well in this game, to go compete, and uh, hopefully come back with a win. Running back Audric Estime is such a powerful weapon for the Irish. How do you make their offense one-dimensional? Yeah, he's done a good job. I think he's an improved player this year. They've done a good job of getting him the ball and staying pretty patient with him in different ways. And I think certainly having the experienced quarterback back there has, has probably helped them some as well. But now he's a powerful runner. Uh, that also doubles as a guy that can hit some of the big plays and, and has some has some nice explosion to him too. And so I, it, it's going to start up front, right? You've got to limit the amount of space that he has to work. And then, and then I think obviously you want to get him down every single time you can one-on-one, -on -one, but we, we've got to really strain in pursuit of the football. You know, being able to gang tackle great backs is always one of the best things that you can do. And we're going to need to have that approach all night. This is a older experience Notre Dame defense. Is there extra level of difficulty when you're going against a defense that has so many reps under their belt? Yeah, sure. No, they, they're good. They're, they know what they're doing. Uh, they're, they're very much in sync. As you said, it's just seniors all over the place. Um, I mean, it's, it's virtually the same guys that we played against last year. Um, and, uh, and they've had a couple new players come in and step up and play very well. So, um, yeah, you can tell. You can see the carryover. You can see the experience with these guys. Um, they've you know, they've done a good job limiting just about every single uh, team that they've played. And they certainly present some challenges. And like most good defense, they, they make you earn what's there. So you got to really be sharp and focused. All righty. Good luck on Saturday. Thanks for the time. Thanks, Keely.